Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a few days since I've made a video. I've just kind of, we've got, I've gotten, a, uh, there's a lot going on in my family right now. Um, medical issues with different family members and stuff like that. So I just haven't really had time at all to film anything. So I apologize. Um, I want to tell everybody that has subscribed to me and that enjoys my channel that I love you guys very much. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am here with an e.l.f. beauty bundle, and this is probably my favorite box out of all the box, well, besides Mother Earth Creations, out of all the boxes that I get. I just find this so exciting because you get this big, huge, I will show it to you in a second, you get this big, huge box full of goodies. This one feels a little light. Um, <clears throat> I think this is $20, let me see if it says on here. Uh, no, it doesn't. Of course not on the invoice. It does not say that. But if you go to eyeslipsface.com, I'll post that link below. You can also order yourself a beauty bundle. It comes every eight weeks. So that's why I find it not um, that expensive because, you know, you're not doing it monthly. So for $20, you know, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> um so this is your pre-summer survival kit, it says. And it says, shine on elf lit. We're bringing, we're on the brink of summer and this beauty bundle is all about protecting, primping, and prepping for some fun in the sun. Favorites like your essential beach beauty palette are perfect for a day at the beach. Don't forget your sunblock. Um, so, yeah. So it kind of says... It kind of gives you what's in here, and I don't want to look at it yet. So some of this stuff I may have as duplicates because I just cannot stay. Oh, UPS is here. I just cannot stay off Elf, like eyeslips, eyeslipsface.com. I just can't. I mean, their stuff is so um, inexpensive. Some of the stuff is hit or miss. Some of the stuff I don't really like. Some of the stuff I love. Um, I will be doing those reviews um, as I go along and use them. But I really a lot of the stuff is I mean if you don't love it it's kind of like you didn't really waste anything because they're so inexpensive like it's not that big of a deal you could pass it on or whatever chuck it in the garbage whatever you want to do um so is he coming to my door yes he is I don't know if he needs my signature or not hold on a second you guys Thank you. Uh, no, he does not. Um, so I hope it's what I'm thinking it is. Um, anyway, and, and I have this big box next to my, I'm, I don't want him to hear me. Thank you, Mr. UPS driver. But I have this big box next to my door and it says, please put packages in here. And they just always just chuck them on the, on the ground. Like it makes me laugh. Um, but, and you know, I just want to state to you guys that there in no way am I a beauty expert. I'm not. Um, I just know what I like, what works for me, what's good for my skin, that kind of stuff. And so when I do like my empties and stuff like that, I, it's just what works for me. Everybody else is different. I mean, I think I had somebody message me about fragrances that I had ordered from Coco Pink. And I said, you know, you really got to try them out for yourself. I mean, I ordered like 20 drams or something like that which are the little bottles not the little teeny weeny ones but the little bottles I said you really gotta try everybody's skin's different your chemistry body chemistry is different so what smells may be amazing on me may not smell amazing on you may not last as long as on you whatever that kind of thing so that's just what I suggest um as always as with my wax videos as with other videos this is just my opinion that's it so you know Please don't take it as a holy grail because what I love, you may not love and vice versa, whatever. Um, but what I love about this is you get this bag and this is your beauty bundle and I have one of these already and it was filled chock full. This one's not, um, let me see, but it comes with this cute little makeup bag and it says, I don't know if you can see that, it says eyes, lips, face on it. It's a double, I'll open it real quick. It's a double... I was looking for my knife. My handy dandy knife. It is a double. I am getting one of those train cases that you can travel with. You, you know, I mean, not that I'd be traveling, but it's a double zipper. Oh, you pull this out and you have 
in here. It doesn't smell too plasticky. You know, I mean, it's definitely like a pleather or something like that. And then you have another pocket. I love the pink. The pink is so cute. And this is more for like you can put your you can put some brushes in that kind of stuff. Maybe some like, um, you know, other pigment powders or whatever in here. That kind of thing. Um, I wish this had a zipper, but it doesn't. But mostly for like your makeup tools you would put in here. And then your makeup itself you would put in this side. But it's really cute. So um, this is a signature bag. It's pink and it retails for $8. And um, it says one side has slots for brushes plus a handy mesh pouch while the other side fits all your essentials. So it's really cute. I mean, this would not fit all my essentials for sure, um, but it is a decent bag. So um, I like it much better than what you get from Ipsy. I find, I love the Ipsy bags. They're really, really super cute, but you know, maybe if I did one for, you know, once I get enough of them, I do one for eyeshadows and one for, I mean, nothing's going to fit like a big palette except one of those big train cases that I plan on getting, but this is really cute. So, and I love pink. So eyes, lips, and face. Um, and then in here you get, I'm just looking, pink tissue paper everywhere. So then here you get in this in this bundle, beauty bundle, and I like these bags. These bags are actually really handy. I really like them because you can kind of just, you know, put whatever in here and carry them around. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, like maybe produce bags, that kind of stuff, because I think you could probably, you could probably put these in the washer. I wouldn't really suggest putting them in the dryer because they might melt. They look like they're a little whatever but some of these I may already have yes I do <laughs> but again like I said I think I got this this is the elf mist and set um I don't really love this product I don't think it really miss I mean it mists for sure it makes your face nice and cooling so it might be something you want to put in your bag just on really hot summer days to kind of mist your face, you know, periodically because it does have aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. So it's definitely good for your skin. Do I think it really sets it, sets it? No, I don't. Um, I am looking into other setting sprays that actually set your makeup. Um, but this one, like I said, it's, I think it's like $2. I mean, don't quote me. I don't have all the prices or anything, but I already have one of these, but now I have another one. I can either gift it along or keep it. And like I said, but it's nice to put in the refrigerator and then you can, you know, kind of mist your face. It's nice and cool. Oh, this is really nice. I didn't, I don't have this. This is exciting. This is Elf's Baked Highlighter. And this is in Moonlit Pearls. And it says, create a radiant glow with this illuminating powder that highlights the skin with a sheer wash of shimmer color. Um, this is really cool. And what I like about e.l.f. is that they are, um, they put a lot of vitamins, jojoba, sunflower, apricot, and grape to nourish and hydrate the skin. So they do put a lot of stuff in their products natural stuff that you know hydrates and helps your skin and that kind of stuff um long lasting and shimmer color can be worn wet for a vibrant effect or dry for a sheer pigmentation use a powder brush sweep the powder onto cheekbones brow bones and decolletage decolleté the decolleté um for an instant glow so this is really cool um i did buy a recently a body shop from the body shop um a highlighter slash bronzer kind of thing but this I don't have an actual highlighter highlighter so this is really cool I'm opening it for you is it safety sealed no so I can just swatchy 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 so let me see if I had swatchy swatchy I mean if you guys are looking for like fancy dancy packaging and stuff you're not gonna get that and I think that's why elf is so you know, it's pretty inexpensive, but can you see the glitter there? The woo goo goo goo. Look how beautiful that looks. Um, so I'm just going to do a little swatchy swatchy here on my finger. As you can see. There you go. Really, really nice highlighter. 
really nice. I really do like this a lot. So I will get a lot of use out of this. This is kind of just like a champagne color. Very nice. Are you seeing this? I mean, it's kind of hard, but there you go. Much better, Chris. It's a very, very nice color. So it's a you know awesome highlighter. So, I mean, I would even use it on my eyes, you know, my brow bone, really, really good. Um, and like I said, to me, you just really can't, you just really can't beat the prices. So it's really good to test and try. Um, I'll send the link, to, I'll put the link to you guys too, as far as the beauty bundle. Um, this, let me see if I can find this, this, um, create a radiant glow with this illuminating powder that highlights the skin to a, with a sheer wash of shimmer color. The highlighters to me are great for the summer. Really, really great. I mean, they're always good for your brow bone um, up here, but not on my eyebrow, obviously. My glasses are in the way, but your brow bone. But um, it's great for summer to just give that kind of like shimmery look. Love it. So this retails for $3. So eight, nine, ten. So, so far I've gotten $11 um, worth of product. No, I'm sorry. Because the Mistin set is $3. So I said two, it was three. So I mean, like I said, for $3, so eight, nine to 11, 12, 15, 14. So I'm always, I'm already up to, almost up to my 20 bucks. Okay, so this is a beauty book night. Beauty, Elf beauty book. 28 piece night palette. So I guess these are, it says, this could be a 28 piece makeup collection for your eyes, lips, and face. Allows you to create any look that reflects a personal style. I did receive in my last beauty bundle a palette um, I think it was just for eyes. It was really cute. It was kind of like on the go. You could throw it in your purse. If you watch my other e.l.f. beauty bundle box, beauty bundle unboxing. Um, it includes eight, 16 eyeshadows, eight lip shades, two blushers, and two bronzer shades, <clears throat> and a dual-ended applicator. So um, it, then it tells you how to use the eyeshadows, which I think, you know, lid, crease, highlighter. I think we can all figure that out, right? So, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. It looks like a book. So, it's really, really cute. Um, I don't know why they call it the night palette, <clears throat> but I like the fact that it comes with a brush. Would I ever, and a nice mirror, which is also always great if you're going to do touch ups. So, you have a blush, you have a bronze, you have a blush and a highlighter. A blush and a highlighter, a bronzer, and a kind of shimmery bronzer. Um, here's your lip colors over here. I love loving the reds. I'm actually loving all these colors. They're pretty cool, except for that, like, nude, nude one. That looks like it would probably be, like, a lip primer on me. And then the eyeshadows, which are really, really nice. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to swatch them all for you just because... But they are, they have some matte colors, plus they have some other ones. There's two kind of white colors. And it does come with this little brush. I mean, I think every palette should come with a brush. Now, would I use this brush? It's a sponge and then the lip brush. I, I have my own brushes, so I probably would not use this. But it's still that brush. But it's still really nice. And I like when you have an all-in-one palette, and then you can just throw this in your purse, and you're good to go. I really like it. And it's cute that it looks like a little book. So... <clears throat> this goes for six dollars so eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so i'm already up to my twenty bucks right here very very cute love it um and so far like all basic almost all colors like especially like in this palette that i would use so that's really cool. But again, for $6, if you, there, there are some colors you wouldn't use, maybe some lip colors you wouldn't use, you're really not like, <laughs> I mean, $6. I mean, for some eyeshadows, you pay, you know, a lot more than that. So <clears throat> the next thing is the HD powder. And this is in shimmer. This is really cool because I got the HD powder and I got it in clear, translucent. And so now I have it in shimmer. So I really love the translucent one. Um, it does set my makeup really nice. Uh, <clears throat> um, decent staying power, you know, not bad. But this one is a shimmer, so it gives 
um, it creates a soft focus effect on the skin. So if you want to look like photoshopped or whatever. And I think it's also, again, good for summer. You know, I tend to be kind of a matte girl, but I did do, you know, what I was wearing video recently with the dewy, more of a dewy look. And I think it's perfect for summer. So I think that's really cool. Um, masks, fine lines, and, inco and imperfections. I would say incompletions. Imperfections for reading complexion. This this the incredible soft and sheer powder is great for on camera and everyday wear um so the microfine particles are designed to be used with high definition camera technology or for everyday wear so it does come with a little poof i don't use the poof i use a brush but you know it's your preference um but i'm really excited that i got the shimmer this time um let me you know it's really messy i was gonna say let me open it and show you how shimmery it is but you get quite a bit in here and that's what i really like it's 0.28 ounces or eight grams but it's actually if you've seen other hd powders they tend to come really small like really small like almost like an eyeshadow pot kind of thing and i know a little does go a long way but i don't know um for people with oily skin is shimmer always the best no but this is how it comes with the little poofy poof. And the poof is very nice. Um, this one seems to have like a little makeup on it already, which is kind of weird because this powder is, oh, there's a little hole in it, that's why. There's a little hole in, see, because it says pull to open and it's got the sticker on it, but then there's a little hole right over here. So that must have gotten out. The shimmer must have gotten out, but I'm gonna shake it through here just to see if I can get a little bit out. Um, with oily skin, I don't know, and I love this. Like, I don't have to worry about it, you know, coming out in my makeup bag, whatever. But it does get, okay, so just from that little hole, you guys, but there's the shimmer. You can see the glitter, you can see the, you know. Um, but it's very nice, it's gonna work with Probably, I don't know about d the deepest, darkest skin tones, but um, so it's a translucent shimmer. Let me see if I can kind of swatch that for you. Let's see. There you go. So you can see it's, it's a translucent, but then it has shimmer in it. So it will shimmer on your skin. Oh, it's really nice. It really is. I don't think you're going to be able to see the shimmer. Oh, you can see it on my hand. So it really blended into my skin perfectly, and but it just left that little shimmer behind. I really like it. Um, so I'm excited. So now I have the totally matte translucent one, and then I have the shimmer one. So that's cool. So I think this would be good for like date night too, you know, a, um, a, a night outing. I think this would be really, really good. So this is definitely a keeper for me. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Oh, I didn't put the little poof back. I should probably put the poof back, not because I'm going to use it, but only because these little sifter things tend to get kind of messy. So it'll block some of the powder, but I really love this case. It's very substantial. I love how it shuts. It's, you know, it's very secure. I really, really like it. So I'm excited about that one. Um, I think it's, I think this box is kind of like all about the shimmer. Um, cause you have the highlighter and now this, um, really like it. So now I have both of these HD powders cause I saw the HD powder. I'm like, oh no, I already have it. <clears throat> but as we all know, oh, and that goes for, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, $6 and it has an SPF 45, you guys in it, which is super duper. I've read that anything over, or anything should be 25 and over if you really want to protect your skin. So I'm always looking for stuff with SPF in it. So this is really, really good. Um, so this has an SPF of 45, a portable loose powder sunscreen that can be worn alone or over any makeup. So me, myself, uh, in the summer, I probably just do a very light BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and put this on, and then I have my SPF, so it's super cool. Because um, I do have some BB creams that I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I love, but they don't have SPF in it. So here we go, I'm all covered. 45 is works wonderful for me. And on my body, I usually use 50, so that's great. Um, love it. So that is worth... 
six dollars so now I'm up to about twenty six dollars and I you know the bag itself was twenty dollars um so here we have this is in sheer okay so this is SPF 45 sunscreen UVA and UVB protection you want to look for both of those guys because you know the UVA just protects against like um burning but you want to you know the UVB is also very important because you don't realize that you you need them both anyway I'm not gonna get all technical with you but you need them both so this is another sort of powder and it is a soft translucent powder a portable loose powder sunscreen that can be worn alone or over any makeup and then this is in the color sheer so this would add a little bit of color so I have everything now I have the totally translucent I have the shimmer one for you know more sassy days and then I have the sheer now this is the only one I'm going to I wish there was a little hole in this one <laughs> there's probably not um swatch because I'm not so sure about how but here SPF 45 sunscreen UVA UVB protection love it this one is 45 sunscreen also so love it oh no I'm sorry this is six dollars this one the um this one the high def powder is six dollars this is six dollars this high def powder does not have SPF in it this one does so um hopefully this color works for me because I am vampire white as you guys know um let me see I would really have to swatch it on my face but I'm gonna try to show you guys the color here it looks like it'll work to be honest with you it's gonna give me a little bit of color um, you know it's not gonna be a translucent translucent but I think it would really work especially if I just use it alone under a you know over a primer like hello focus on me over a primer or like I said a tinted moisturizer or something like that it's not gonna add a ton of color so really super excited about that like it a lot um if it's anything goes on anything like the um the translucent hd powder that's amazing i mean i kind of feel like everybody everything should have an spf in it but i know some people are allergic to certain um sunscreens so you, they have to be kind of careful so that's six dollars so i'm gonna add them all up for you after this is a mineral lip tint uh see i almost didn't put lipstick on because I wanted to show you guys but I will swatch it for you um this is a mineral lip 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 lint lint tip it's a lint tint lint tip a lip tint um and this is in it doesn't give you a shade oh guava it's in guava and this is a color I had gotten in my last elf bundle if you guys saw it a lip a mineral lipstick and it really it was supposed to be like a nude color and it looked like a lip primer on my face I was like really just no good but this is what this looks like hello I love talking to the camera it's like hello focus oh my lord focus 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 come on Okay, that doesn't want to focus for me for some reason. But this actually, it looks lighter than it actually is or anyway that it looks like in the tube. Let me see here. It is just a nice shimmery um, peachy color, peachy coral color. I shall swatch it for you. Swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't feel like it's going to be sticky or anything like that. And there you go it's just a nice lip tint um you know for kind of for the days i have one in pixie that's very similar to this color so you know just for the days that you really don't feel like doing one of these bold lip things um i'm always kind of for the bold lips but you know you're going to the beach or whatever very nice love it um you know it doesn't really stay on but it's you know most mi mineral lip tints don't it they don't it doesn't claim to be a stain um it's just like a chapstick with a color in it 
Um, so it says, this is it, $3. Nour nourish, pamper, and treat lips with this super emollient lip quenching color. Um, love the color. I, you know, I'd have to try it on. I could try it on over this. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try it on. I want, I want to give you guys the true color when I actually use these and do my look. Okay, so the next thing is uh, Precision Brush Adds Length and Volume. This is a lengthening and voluming mascara. And this is in Waterproof. And someone, I think, in one of the makeup groups said they really love this. There we go. Um, I had tried their Mineral. Just it comes in a white box. It's their Mineral eye, um, eyeshadow. Mascara, I didn't like it at all. Um, so I'm excited to try this one. It says achieve thicker, fuller, and longer lashes that are beautiful and natural. Unique formula is clump free and quick drying, lasts all day with no smudging and no flaking for waterproof lashes that uphold against sweat, tears, and humidity. Um, and then it tells you how to apply it. Um, but I, and I'm sure it's in black. I'm always looking, yeah, it's in black. I'm always looking for a good black mascara. I'm totally addicted to the Unique right now, but if I want to use something that's just for, like, every day, kind of not as dramatic, hopefully this will work. So, and that is the little, I really prefer, this is, you know, the, I don't know what kind of applicator they call this, but, you know, with the bristles on it, I really prefer the applicators that have, um, let me just swatchy swatchy this a little bit. These are kind of hard. Oh, I probably shouldn't swatchy swatch waterproof on my hand, but it's just a black waterproof. What I found with the mineral one was that it just didn't do anything. It kind of coated my lashes and that was about it. So this is a waterproof. So I'm really liking this. We'll see if it lengthens and volumizes. I don't know. But. Um, and I always swatch these on my hands because, you know, in case it doesn't work for me, it could probably work for somebody else. My hands are clean. I just wash them before I swatched. Um, I don't quite know how to put this back. Their packaging is sometimes weird. You're kind of like, okay, why am I left with this thing? Like, what do I do with it? You know, like, I don't know. I totally put this thing in wrong. But this is valued at $3. And it is waterproof. Oh, this is kind of smudging. Maybe I have to let it set some more. It's kind of smudging on my finger, to be honest with you. But we shall see. Um, let's see if I can get it off with my pants. <laughs> yeah, see? It, it kind of just came off, so I don't know how waterproof it is. I don't know if I'm going to love it or hate it or what, but we will see. Um, you will see that in my beauty looks and what I was using and whether I like it. Um, and the last thing is, this is kind of exciting to me because I love waterproof eyeliner pens, and this is, that's what this is, and it's in black. And you kind of can't get enough um black waterproof eyeliner pens and i like the liquid eyeliners i'm going to open this just because i want to see the brush on this it's not a brush it looks like it's a felt tip and i'm not in love with the felt tips it really depends um someone had told me that the felt tip was not all that lovely on this one you know when i don't want the package to rip it's gonna rip Um, so this is the waterproof eyeliner pen, and, and yeah, it's a very, very skinny, you can see this, very, very skinny pen, which is kind of cool for doing, you know, like if you happen to want to do under your eyes or do some of those cool new cat wing eyeliners oh I like it um I can see what they're saying about the pen you're not gonna be able to see this is this felt tip I don't think is gonna hold up very long it does tend to bend a little bit maybe it get, maybe it just gives a little bit but this glided on really really well so I am going to be loving this as long as it stays on and it's waterproof um I'm gonna be loving this so 
Um, you can always, you know, double up and color it in to make, you know, your wing more, you know, defined or whatever. But hopefully this, um, this holds up. So, or stay, is, is, is actually waterproof. Yeah, because it says you can, you can glide on very fine or very bold, kind of depending on hold, how you hold it or if you want to, you know, overlap. But my test of waterproof eyeliners is if they flake. Um, I used to use a Maybelline one and I loved it except it would flake and then I would be left with like a whole, you know, there would be like eyeliner, eye eyeliner. Like it would just kind of flake off and that would drive me nuts because it was supposed to be waterproof, which it was waterproof, but it also flaked. Um, let me see. Oh, this is, no, this is not budging. This is good. This is not budging at all. So I'm loving this. I don't know about the mascara, but I'm loving this one. Um, so far, Elf, Elf mascara have not really had like a great, you know, thing. But I, like I said, I do have the unique now. So, so that was my beauty bundle, you guys. I got one, two, I mean, these huge powders. I'm so excited about one, two, a whole palette, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a makeup bag. Am I forgetting anything? Eight. Eight plus a makeup bag. Um, so let me add it up for you guys here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes, I am counting on my fingers. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32. $40, $40 worth of products, guys, for 20 bucks. I mean, you really, really, really can't beat it. So the only thing that makes me sad about this is that it only comes every eight weeks. Like, I want it to come more often. But, you know, so it is a little pricier than your Ipsy's and stuff like that. But to me, absolutely, totally, absolutely worth it. I love that they put the prices on there and everything like that. I just find it absolutely amazing. Um, the only thing that I may not use, I may gifty gift to somebody else, is this mist and set. Like I said, I like it. I just think that there are other mist and sets. In fact, I think one was from like an airbrush company that does airbrush um, foundations, and they have an actual sealer. And that to me sounds more like what I'm looking for is an actual sealer. Like seal my makeup. Like if I could do my makeup and sleep in it and not have to do my makeup again for five days, like that would be awesome sauce like it would be so amazing <laughs> that'd be so amazing balls right like just oh my god so semi-permanent makeup you know what I mean like you just kind of so I may try that um but uh, like I said the rest of the stuff I'm a little iffy about this mascara just because like I said I didn't really did not like the other one but I'm loving these beauty bundles guys these elf beauty bundles so I'm gonna post all the information below for you guys so anyway um okay so a little bit about what is going on with the giveaways I have a new giveaway coming up I should be doing that um video tonight and then um picker 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 of the waxy lady giveaway is there were so many responses to it and unfortunately I had some some people unsubscribe to my channel so I do have to go and double triple check um, that they did not enter the giveaway and because they will not be qualified to enter so I have to double triple check that to make sure um, and that takes kind of a long time so it's gonna be that winner will either be posted tonight probably not tonight either tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow because I have to go through my list and double check and make sure everyone's done the rules and what they're supposed to be doing. But I will have probably either tonight or tomorrow up a next month's June's, well this month's June's vendor sponsor giveaway. So um, don't remember guys, you can't win if you don't play. So, and they're always super, super duper easy peasy. And this um, month is, she's given away a lot of stuff. Like I'm really excited. About it and I have done a spotlight review on this vendor um, I'm not telling you who it is but I've done a spotlight review um, so if you look through my vendor spotlight reviews I've done one and it was I was really pretty impressed so um, you know so that's super cool so anyway that's my old bundle guys if you guys want one the information will be below in the about section oh people always ask me too where's the about section like what are you talking about I can't find the link 
if you if you look in where it says about and then it'll say see more underneath it you just click and you'll see more writing so just make sure you expand that so you can see all the information it gives you information about you know pen pals and what i've been up to my twitters my instagrams all that other kind of stuff goodies if you want to follow me on those things um so anyway guys that was it i will talk to you later i love you all seriously i do i really do i love you guys you're part of my fam not fan fam somebody thought i said fans like not my fans you're my fam fam with an m fam fam my family fam part of my fam <laughs> i was like fans not fans fam so anyway i'll talk to you guys later love you